Welcome everyone, even though Apple has a lot of flaws, one of the things they continually get right, which Android still needs to take notes on, is supporting their older devices. We saw with the iPhone 3GS, it got iOS 6.1.6 .6 after iOS 7 was released and the 3GS was discontinued so that FaceTime would work on that firmware. We also saw iOS 9.3.6, iOS 10.3.4, which were released when there was iOS 13 available for the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 series. And recently, we see with iOS 12, Apple still continuing to support the iPhone 6, iPhone 5S with iOS 13, iOS 14, and with iOS 14.3, we still get iOS 12.5.1 still available to everyone. But there's one major issue right now with iOS 12.5.1, which wasn't fixed, right? It was in 12.5, it was in 12.4.9, and this isn't an issue that you just sweep under the rug like a jailbreak exploit. I mean, we see Chimera still works on 12.5.1. This is an exploit where if you just go on the website, all your passwords are stolen. So what am I talking about? Well, as we all know, um, if you use iCloud, there is something called a keychain. So if I go to like youtube.com or something like that, um, what it does is it auto fills in the username and password because that login is stored on the keychain and could be used to quickly access, you know, um, websites at any time. However, the thing is, you're only meant to see the keychain, obviously. It stores your passwords and even Apple cannot access your uh, keychain because all of the data is encrypted. However, the only way to decrypt the keychain is with your touch ID or your face ID or your Apple ID password. The problem is, there is a exploit in iOS 12.5.1 and all iOS 12 firmwares wasn't patched in 12.5.1 because it was available in 12.5 where if you just go on the website, someone steals all your keychain login just like that, right? All of your keychain passwords, um, your secured notes, all that stuff stolen in an instant. And Apple has to release iOS 12.5.2 next week immediately so that this issue is fixed because this isn't a small issue. Imagine, you know, you go onto a dodgy website and all your, all your passwords are stolen. Suddenly your bank details are changed. I find that hard to believe. Let's say your Google account's changed, um, your Twitter login's changed, all because you went on a dodgy website with the exploit available. It's out in the wild. I've seen it before. I've spoken to someone who has had their login stolen and this has to be fixed, right? And if you want to, you know, keep yourself safe, all you do is you go to the iCloud settings and just turn off keychain for now. And then at any time, you can always turn it back on when you update to iOS 12.5.2. If Apple does release iOS 12.5.2. But when you look at their track record, F1 for iOS 12.5 was the final firmware. I mean, if you looked at the build number, it was like five characters. Usually it's six and five characters look like, you know, it's over. But we've seen iOS 12.5.1. And so... If 12.5.2 is the final firmware, right, which fixes that major bug, maybe fixes some like iCloud bypass if they really want, then I'm fine with that, right? But really, right now, it's a big issue having iOS 12.5, 12.4.9, 12.5.1, having this major exploit. I don't know if it's with iOS 14, if it's still on iOS 14, but either way, it's something that must be addressed immediately and should really be fixed next week maximum. If, it's, if you're watching this next week and they still haven't updated to 12.5.2 then something is severely wrong so just a quick video hopefully you guys enjoyed if we just smash like bye bye